Good morning. Well, that new blade is cutting so much better. So that's half of the tank down. I'm just debating now. It's a pain working around this tarp. I'm just wondering if I should just take it down, bite the bullet, and it'll push me to rebuild the roof a bit quicker. This is quite a nice little find. So this is the zinc from the roof capping. So this was all over the ridge. You can see how decorative and ornate just the ridge was. Anyway, one side left to do. I need a new blade on that because these are just the blades that wear down. So yeah, it's eating through them. One left to do. And then let's see if I can move this base. I mean, it's pretty rotten, so I'm hoping that I can. God, that was hard, but I'm so glad all that's down now. One tankless thing. Look, little window's exposed now. Okay. Oh, typical. Well, that's that side tank taken down and all the top cleared off. So now just got this side, the base still to come out, then the rest of the rubble off. And then 
here's what I think the plan is. I think the plan is to take down these two little bits of roof, take all the iron bars down and stuff. Then I can work on the top of this wall, bring it down to a safe level, re-block it back up, probably with bigger blocks rather than bricks. Be a lot easier and a lot quicker. Put a ring beam in the top so that's stable. Reinstate this whole floor. Yeah, like, just a little bit to do, but I think that's the best way around it. And luckily, you know what's happened. Just as I hinted at the tarp coming down, the skies just went completely grey, so we'll hold off on that. I mean, the tarp's not going to hold up forever, but, you know, if it gives me a chance to get these bricks down and start breaking it up, then I think we're, on, I think we're in a good situation there. Anyway. Let's get this other base down. Good riddance. Well, that's them gone. And do you know what? It says something when all you've got to attach your harness to, the most stable thing, is a tree that's growing out of the top of your roof. Ah, uh, this place. Anyway, it's gone. So I think before I break up this floor and get that all down, I'm gonna take the opportunity to clear a bit more, especially, well, the trees, a bit more off these balconies, so they're like draining quite well. Yeah, and then take out this floor, the floor over there, and then do like a thing. And I know it seemed like I'm complaining about it a little bit, but at the same time, it is exciting to be doing these like permanent structural repairs, you know, like getting the top of the chateau safe and rebricked up and ring beamed and stuff like that. It's quite an exciting prospect and one I didn't think I'd be able to tackle for a while yet, but it's going to be fun. So one good thing is the bees other than a few stragglers, seem to have gone. Yes! Well, I'm chuffed at that. It's one of them jobs that just seemed nearly impossible, but, you know, whatever the catchphrase was, bloody do it. Yeah! Okay, well, same again, tomorrow, I've got the kids tomorrow as well, we've got a cool, like, boy surprise arriving tomorrow as well, which I think you'll enjoy. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.